If you're like most entrepreneurs, you probably cringe, maybe even feel a little uneasy when you hear the phrase, to know your business, you need to know your numbers. Uh, that's okay. Today I wanna to share with you the one number in your business that will help you grow faster than any other. See, the gap between where most business owners are of not knowing any numbers and knowing all their numbers is huge. We know most small business owners understand their success via ATM. By that I mean they go to the ATM, take out money or do a transaction, look at their receipt, see if they have any money, and if they do, they're doing okay. We know that businesses that win keep score. And I think that part of the issue here is when you're tracking nothing to go to tracking everything, it makes it feel overwhelming and almost impossible. One couple, Ray and Peggy Pierce, are a husband and wife team in real estate. I've taught them personally, they're fantastic. Like so many small business owners, Ray and Peggy get up every day, they get as much as they can done, and do everything they can to serve their clients and move their business forward. Now, they demonstrated in a very unique way why knowing numbers is so critically important. A few years ago, they attended one of our trainings where we asked everyone to do some simple preparation. The response that they gave me when I welcomed them to the class demonstrates the point I'm making here perfectly. As I was going around the room and saying hi to everyone, I asked Ray and Peggy, hey, how are things going? And they replied, so much better than we thought. <laughs> First, I love that answer. And it's a really unique way to answer my question. So I said, what do you mean? Well, they said, we did the preparation you asked us to do for this class a few months ago, and once we knew our critical number, we were doing so much better than we thought. I love that answer. See, that's what it really is all about. Ray and Peggy weren't tracking anything. They started tracking their critical number. They're in real estate. It was how many houses they had sold, and it created leverage. Knowing how you're doing means a ton. I've been there. I've run businesses without knowing my numbers, especially early in my career, and I know how much you have going on and how much pressure you put on yourself. I also know now what it's like to work with and without leverage. See, I wanna do everything I can so that I have as much leverage as possible. It makes me more efficient, more effective, and I get more done. Working with leverage and the difference of working without means with leverage, you're getting bigger, better, more effective, more efficient results. Quite simply, Knowing what's important in your business and measuring success will create leverage. Wayne Dyer is quoted as saying, what you focus on expands. Most business owners I know focus on their bills and really don't know their go forward numbers. Let's create a tactic to make your business expand. See, before I go any further, I don't want you to check out. Stay with me, getting started is easy. In fact, I have a shortcut. See, at least part of the issue is that tracking everything is near impossible to do overnight if you're tracking nothing. But we have a strategy you can put in place right now. And even if you're already tracking, you can use it as well. Every business should have a number everyone knows and is pushing towards pursuing and focused on. We call it the critical number. The number represents what drives your business, a number you're going to track daily and you're going to share and celebrate it with everyone. Now, I know when I introduce this topic to people, it's often a little tough to understand, so let me give you a couple of examples. In our real estate training organization, we sold a certification that helped agents do more business. To drive our growth, we tracked certified members. We didn't track just sales. See, we knew that if we had somebody buy our product and become a certified member, we actually had adoption. So we didn't just track sales, it was all about members. We posted this in our office, we shared it every day in our huddle, we took pictures of our team at each major milestone, heck, we even had shirts made at each new count. Another example I really like is Remax, Dave Linegar's company. Remax is one of the largest brokerages in the world and ever since 1973, they focused on one critical number, agent count how many agents had chosen Remax. They could have focused on anything, offices, homes sold, franchises, number of states or countries they were in. They track all that as well, but the critical number was agent count. They knew if they were doing everything right, that number would go up. At Facebook, another company almost everyone knows, they have the record for the most successful IPO of all time. They got there in record time, and to do so, they tracked a critical number, profiles. They have over 1.3 billion today. It's funny to think that in that movie, The Social Network, they were celebrating the first million. 
They still track it every day. <laughs> there are a ton of other examples, specifically companies like Tesla. Tesla doesn't track how much they've sold, but they track, share, and put out press releases about how many cars they've delivered. Early on, they didn't have a sales issue as much as they had a delivery issue. For Southwest, completely different. They actually track how many planes they keep in the air. For them, that's important because they know if they're selling the tickets, the planes will be up and flying. So what's your critical number? For us, we still count members today. Our critical number now is coaching members. For an auto repair store, it might be how many cars do they get in each month? For an accountant, how many people do they do taxes for? For a yoga studio, how many total people are in classes on any given day? Here's the key. When a business has a critical number, it creates a target, which creates a scoreboard, and a win for you and your team to focus on. Now here's the best way to introduce your critical number. Think about it, consider it, and pick the right one. What is that number that's really going to make your business grow? Then pick your first major milestone and your first celebration. One thing to remember is this is a number you're going to create momentum around, share with everyone, and get excited about. For us, our original 10,000 members, that was a huge celebration. As you see the effect this has on your business, you're naturally going to want other numbers and more metrics. I'll share with you more in future blog posts on how to determine those. Remember, not knowing your business's numbers is like playing a game that determines our income with no scoreboard. None of us would volunteer for that, yet this is where millions of business owners find themselves. By starting with a critical number or adding a critical number to the numbers we have, we create a scoreboard and a game we can win. Thanks for joining me here on my blog where we help entrepreneurs grow their businesses. We always say owning a business should be a daily celebration of achievement. When you have that critical number and you start moving towards your first milestone, you can have exactly that. Join me again next week for more information on how to grow your business. Thanks for being here and I can't wait to see your comments.